So here we have a codon chart. So how do we use this and when do we need to use it? So let's say you're given this molecule, an mRNA molecule, and it has the bases A, G, C, C, A, U. And you're told to translate this sequence into the amino acid sequence that it would give. So first, what do we need to do? We need to know the directionality of this molecule. So where is the 5' prime in and where is the 3' prime in? Because this will dictate uh, which amino acids the sequence is going to code for. So let's go ahead and say this N is the 3' prime N and this N is the 5' prime N. So we need to read the sequence in uh, forms of codons, which are read in the triplet form as in three bases at a time. So three of these bases are going to code for one amino acid. And uh, the codons are read from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. And so in this case, we would start here as our first codon. And you know, the three bases are going to be U, A, and C. So if we go to this codon chart, our first letter is going to be U. And then we need to go to the A column right here. And then we need to find C. So here we are. Oops, UAC. And this is going to code for the amino acid tyrosine. So this is going to code for tyrosine. And now the next codon is going to be CGA. So we got to find our first letter C, go to the G column, and A. So the amino acid is going to code for arginine. So this codon codes for arginine. Now let's say we were given this same molecule with the same base. Only this time we're going to change the direction of the strand. So this N will be our 5 prime N and this N will be our 3 prime N. So remember we still have to read codons from 5 prime to 3 prime. And so this is going to be our first codon. And this will be our second one. And they're read in groups of 3. And so our first codon is going to be A, G, C. So let's find A, here's the G column, and then C. So this codes for the amino acid serine. And now we have this codon, which remember starts from the 5 prime N, so we got to start with C, A, and U. So we find C, go to the A column, and U. So this codes for histidine. So as you can see, these two strands have the same sequence, but because their directionality is different, they actually end up coding for a whole different set of amino acids. So it's important to remember that you have to start from the 5' prime end of when reading codons on the mRNA in order to get you the right amino acid.